this is a totally, totally improvised talk. Just two days, I was thinking to come here and just listen and watch other people doing their own things. But actually, I get this email where they were just asking if the participants wanted to show something. So I thought uh, I could have presented this little thing, humble thing, totally humble thing. And I will tell you the, the story about this. I apologize for my English, which is not uh, sophisticated as the majority of the people which are here. I'm really bad, but I will tell you the little story about this. Well, um, the thing is that this guitar, let's call it like this, the material to create this guitar costs just three euros. So probably is the cheapest guitar in the world, probably, which is made by, made in a, um, with a real production. It's not a prototype. We did something like 3,000 of them, of it. And we sold them, but there's, there's a reason about that. So I have to tell you a little story about. Um, something like 10 years ago, I went to Burundi, which, according to the International Monetary Fund, is the poorest country in the world. I was there to teach music, just to, to share music, let's say, more than teach music. But actually, it, it ended that I, I taught music to people all around. And I also had some uh, uh, recording session over there, <laughs> which is strange to explain because, you know, uh, you are um, on one side of the city to record something, and then you go on the other side because there is a rationing of uh, electricity, and there are uh, many other problems. So what can I say? Uh, while I was there, I was really touched emotionally. It's not necessarily like that, but it's, it was because, you know, um, it depends on in what time of your life you are. And where, while I was there, it was a um, quite special time in my life. I was really emo emotional, and uh, I've seen something that I really moved me. Um, how can I say? It's quite impossible to explain the situation over there. I really felt as being on another planet, as it is another planet, sadly. Um, there were children with their own exercise books on the, you know, the waste is just on the street. Instead of sidewalks, there are sewers, you know? Uh, and they were doing their own homeworks, and the classroom were made by uh, 120 children of all ages, and one teacher, which is not... It's not a, exactly a good teacher. And I taught some guitar there also. But the problem was there that uh, we were... <laughs> there was something like 40 people that wanted to know how to play the first, the first uh, chords, but there were just uh, five guitars. So what are th the other people were just putting a paper, a piece of paper on the neck here, neck, what's on the arm, and uh, not this one, and they just uh, um, designed the, the neck of the guitar on the paper, and they just were practicing like this. So I was quite disappointed to see all these people with these papers. Then I came back from Burundi, and uh, I remember because... Uh, <laughs> um, well, the first difference is the air. You know, they, are, they usually burn uh, waste, uh, and the, the air is really bad. I was in Bujumbura, which is the main city of Burundi. So I really needed fresh air, and uh, I went to the swimming pool, and I remember that late afternoon while I was swimming, and there was all this water just for me to let me swim. Uh, and, and it was something really strange, because I came just from a place where water is available only two hours in the morning and two hours 
in the afternoon with the pumps. I was thinking, what can I, what could I do for these people? My friends uh, were there now, and so I'm a musician, and I decided to to bring some music, which is not certainly so useful as uh, orphan, yeah, orphan trophy. <laughs> That's another story like you know, hospitals or schools or something else, music is not so important or necessary for the body, but is it, it is actually for the soul to me, for my soul and for the souls of other people. And so there's a luthier in my small town in Italy. I live in North Italy. And, with, and I went to him and I told him, you have to invent something, some, a guitar which is the cheapest ever done, uh, and he did it, he did the prototype, and then I uh, programmed the CNC machine. I've never used a carving machine before. Then I did it, and uh, we did it. And actually, this, this is a, a guitar that can be stolen, stolen? I don't know. Somebody, a, thief, a thief can take it, but it's not a problem because it costs just three euros, you know? So it's important this in Burundi, because the day after you get a guitar, somebody else will take it. But if you take this, it's not a problem. This is the um, packaging, which uh, is, uh, contains the neck. The neck is this one, is made just uh, one, uh, by one piece of wood, the cheapest wood, and uh, frets are carved so that they don't have to be put it in. And uh, the first time, at the beginning, we had the fishing lines instead of real strings, and then came a um, company which makes uh, strings for ukulele, and they donated a lot of them for us. So, um, we sent some of these guitars in Burundi, in Eritrea too, and with, but we also sold these guitars and with the incomes we, are support, we supported the first music school in Burundi, actually, and 10 years ago, now they are two. <laughs> and uh, the other one is of a good friend, which is a drummer's, drummer. And we, we did, I don't know if you can maybe let it show on the, this thing over there. So we did, um, what can I say, a, a music school there, which is very important, you know, as, as the people said there, they are happy because uh, the people which goes in this school doesn't, doesn't go near the, pe the other people which wants that they go to, to, to be warriors in Congo. So the music really, literally, saves lives <laughs> in this case. <laughs> and um, so we are going on with this school since 10 years. And there are many, many children's, children going there. We also did other, other things as in, uh, in orphan, an orphanotrophy in Romania, and you know, in Cuba, and something else. Okay, but I'm here to talk to you about this guitar. I let you listen to it a little bit. Don't, don't forget that this is not a guitar. This is a middle point between a guitar and a piece of paper, right? So, that's it. So, you will also understand that the tuning is not exactly the best because the, um, what's the mechanics, this? I don't know the name of that. Well, they are made in...
some jazzy stuff. <laughs> Okay, so that's it, and uh, <laughs> thank you. So there's a story about this, and it's not, this is the interesting part of this talk, probably, I hope. This is the last one. So two days ago, while I was planning to come here, Okay, I said, okay, I can talk about this thing. I went to the storage of this association, which is uh, run by ju just by volunteers like me. I never get any money for that, and I don't want it, as many other friends. But uh, we were too busy with this stuff, you know. To produce this means to have a small company, actually. From buying the wood, carve the thing, getting all the material, put it together, assembly. The assembly is right now made by people with special needs that do it as a project for free, and then put it in the packaging here, getting the clients and sell it. It's a job. And we are just volunteers. And we did it for a long, a long time, and now we don't have any more energy to go on with this project. To complicated, too engaging, you know. We, are, we have our own job and our own lives, and we don't have time to, to go th through it. Actually, we never did any advertising for this, because everybody were asking for this little object, because, you know, in the schools is used, we, you, we sell two of them. Um, with the money, we give one guitar to the people which buy it, and another guitar, we sell it over there, or we support the project. And, um, but it was uh, too, too much, too much. <laughs> we, we are volunteers, and now, uh, you know, we sold 3,000 of them. Uh, everybody were asking for it, but we weren't able to produce it so much, so we, need, we never did any advertising for this. Because, you know, you can buy an ukulele for a cheap price, but, uh, but uh, this is kind of a mean. It's not just the instrument, it's something different. It's a, it's a you know, connecting object between two different planets. So one, is, one stays here, and the other one is sand over there. And uh, so I'm here with the last one, because I went to the storage room of the association, searching for one of this guitar, and there was just this one and no other one. I wanted to put another one here, but, you know, it's empty because I didn't have another one. So, <laughs> it's just, it's a historical moment for me, and I'm happy to do it here. This is the, the cardboard to make the, the thing here, that it can be substituted by some other box, obviously, but it's just not to throw away the cardboard here. It can be used also to do that. So this is the last one. And uh, we are not planning to produce it anymore. But maybe here, you know, there are many people in the Wintergatan community which is, uh, who are very talented uh, in engineering and doing something much better than this, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> and uh, full of heart, heads, uh, and hands. Maybe somebody of you resonate, like the fishing lines I used long ago, to take care of this project and to maybe transform it in a real job, uh, because we didn't have the need to do it and the time and the energy to do it. So, that's the story. Um, that's it. <laughs> I'll be here, thank you. I'll be here for uh, until tomorrow night, 
So if you want to talk with me, I'm hanging around here, and you can, we can talk about it. Uh, and I will leave this guitar here like uh, a stone throw in, thrown in, uh, in the water. Maybe some good waves will come up of it. You're welcome, and thank you. <laughs> If you have some question or anything, I'm here. I don't know if I have still time. I have time, OK. Maybe you are interested in knowing something more about the possible development, right? Thank you very much. Uh, is there, uh, how many people would you recommend to work on that project further on? How many are in your yeah. team at the moment? Well, uh, right now, the people involved in the production of the guitar are somebody which takes care of the administration stuff, because there is something like a small company around it. Somebody which does the wood part, which is about the using of the carving machine, so it's a not for everybody uh, kind of work. And uh, there are people which are assembling it and do it. So maybe three. Um, but probably what is necessary is to, you know, it's not the object, but it's the reason to produce it. And about that, there is, uh, you know, people which take care of the project in Burundi, in Cuba, in Romania, we also are trying to running a new project in the Neapolis, where maybe you've seen the, you have watched the the Gomorra film, I don't know. Well, where it was shooted, uh, we are trying to to create a new music school over there for the children. So I don't know exactly. It depends on. I really don't know. I always did a lot of plans in my life. I was happy to do that, but actually every time something different happened and it was much better than I was planned, you know, or any way different than. So I, I'm, right now I plan, but just for fun. I know it will not be that. So I don't know how to say how many people should work. Maybe, you know, that guy did a whole, a whole production incredible just by his own. I would have never said that this was something made by one single person. So who knows it? Maybe 100 people can be together to, to develop this. Um, how we know, uh, on the Discord community of Wintergat Town, there are, there are so many people doing things. And you know, I believe there's, uh, there's on the T-shirt, on the I also believe and the same thing, uh, which is the music utopia, OK? So this is a part of the utopia. Uh, any other question? If you are shy, don't, don't, uh, don't worry. Uh, we can talk after with a coffee, if you want, OK? But if you have some other question, I'm here. OK. So well, in that case, I would love to thank you. And thank you. Very interesting project, <laughs> and I hope we find someone who can continue it. Well, maybe I don't know, but maybe it could be something interesting to put on Discord, something you know, and definitely, to, yeah, to just to check if somebody could be interested in developing this. My another another dream I would have is to develop a low cost piano. <laughs> which is something more difficult than this. I was thinking about that, but you know, my knowledge is not enough to, to develop it. But maybe you are able. I mean, why not? Go after the challenge. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you, and have a good afternoon.